there's something cool. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mr. Nasty, the door says. That's pretty cool. <laughs> my 12 year old self coming out. Everybody, clutch Sudak motorcycle blog. It is, I believe, August 29th, Saturday. And we're doing a well, you could call it a poker run, it's kind of like a poker run. It's actually a 21 run. Instead of drawing one card, you go and you play around of well, hanging quotes 21 blackjack. Basically, the from the stops, your highest average score plus bonus points, basically top three parties to pay out. So that is what we're doing this morning. A beautiful morning. A little windy, but not too bad. But hell, it's 70 degrees. The last few weeks, it's been almost 80 at this point. Like, usually pretty warm. So it's kind of nice. We're kind of getting a nice, uh, not so hot day. So I'll take it. So. Anyways, we put our cards down or we we start off here at Black Hills Harley Davidson, so uh, That's where we're at Now if you're used to seeing this during the rally, well, you can see it's much different when the rally's not going on It's got a very Sturgis feel to it as in it's one big giant parking lot because well All those vendors take up some space three cars for 20 bucks actually the first hands did really good i got a 20 an 18 and a 21 so let's hope that don't burn up the good luck for the day although to be honest with you i don't do poker runs and these kind of runs i don't do them to win but so let's talk about the basics of a poker run so the basics of your poker run is essentially you got like five, four or five stops. Uh, and you can do it on bikes, you can do it on cars. It's kind of a, everybody, you know, most of them around here, it's, it's, they're kind of motorcycle oriented, but for, let's face it, honestly, you show up in your car, you can do them in your car. All right, if you have to see a poker run, they'll turn someone away for not having a motorcycle. Because let's be honest, it's, it's a charity run and you know, you know, usually half of the money, you usually pay something like it's 10 bucks for a card, three for 20, something like that. Uh, and usually it's a deal where like half of it goes to charity and half of it's paid out like in cash prizes for like top three. It kind of depends on the run. Uh, but like I said, you don't do these runs to win them, you know. I kind of do them as a way to, you know, 
go out, you know, meet, see some bikes, meet some people around the area. Plus, it gives you an excuse to go on a ride. They set the, they tell you where to go, so you don't gotta worry about uh, where should we go. Well, the card says this. Easy. Sometimes it's nice just to have someone else tell you where to go. One thing that kind of sucks is this is like my first poke run this year. Excuse me, this year is probably going to be my last. Because COVID, let's face it, COVID shut a lot of things down. You don't see near as many runs. Plus, pretty much every run, every kind of poker run that happened this year, I was at drill. Like all, every one of them was like I was at drill or on AT orders or it just, the schedule just did not work out this year. But that's okay because now I'm on one now. So I'm happy for that. Got a few nice routes, so a few nice stops. So it's actually pretty much the same route as last year. Uh, the only exception is the last stop isn't JMP Cycles anymore, is now the Duffel. Mainly because JMP Cycles is on and all are year round open around where I live anymore, so that kind of sucks. There's some places with poker runs where you actually got to do challenges where if they get really pissy about the whole it's gambling thing. In fact, I think was it Texas right now, you can't, per the Attorney General of Texas, you can't, the poker run is considered gambling, so you can't do it. I mean, so what a lot of places will do to kind of get around is you'll have challenges. Um, now most of them around here, let's be honest, this is South Dakota. Like, we generally don't worry about trivial stuff like that. Although we still can't sport bet around here because people are all like concerned about it, you know, damaging people and it's not right. Well, this is the same state that, you know, was one of the first states to have video lottery. Approved legal gambling in Deadwood back in the 80s, or yeah, was it late 80s to join the Lank City in Deadwood, or not Deadwood, but Vegas. I mean, Let's be honest, we got a history with gambling in this state. That's just kind of weird. And let's be honest, people gamble. I mean, for God's sakes, people freaking gamble. Like, it's kind of fun sometimes. And yes, people can get addicted to that, but hell, they let people drink beer and people get addicted to alcohol all the damn time. But, anyways, uh, I think what you've seen with legalized sport betting now in this country is a lot of states have jumped on hard. Our state is too fast and it's kind of behind the eight ball and I think that's going to hurt Deadwood a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. I think we're voting on it this November. So. But anyway, that's enough about that crap. Uh, yeah, back poker rooms are fun, they're enjoyable. Someone else gets to set the route for you. It's a good way to meet people. Very good way to meet people. But anyways, I gotta go mail a letter at the post office that I forgot to mail before I went and got the car, so I'm gonna drop that off, and then I'm gonna head up to the next stop, which is Trevino's Leathers. So we will see you there. Oh yeah, you see the classic cars. There's uh, full Deadwood ice going out this weekend in Deadwood, so we will be going through that. So we are approaching our first stop, Trevino's Leathers, south of Deadwood, 385. Actually, if you like leather stuff for your bike, it's there a good spot to check out if you're in the hills. Let's see if I'm the first one here like I was last year.
got stopped out at two dot Trevino south of Deadwood. And we're not doing too bad. I got one set of cards right now. It's got a 21 and 20 on it, so that ain't bad. I got another one, I believe, it's got a 18 and a 17 on it. And then I got a really hard working 16. Got an ace in the four, so it's five or 14. And I hit it, then it became 16 or six. And then I hit it again, and then it would have busted. So I had to get like five cars to get 16. <laughs> Those, yep, we're not gonna risk that now. Getting twos and threes, that's all, all it's waiting for is for you to hit a 10 and blow it all up. So, doing good so far. We're just a few miles there south of Deadwood, so uh, you know what? Let's just take her on in and speed her up a little bit. <laughs> Mr. Nasty, the door says. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and my 12 year old self coming out. We're coming up on Aladdin. A little tiny town in the middle of, well, not the middle of, but West of Belfouche. About 10 miles north of Interstate 90, just on the Wyoming side of South Dakota.
Well, got two 20s and a 16 out of that stop, so we're still doing pretty good right now. We still got three stops to go though. <laughs> but hey, I got three cards that ain't busted yet, so you know what? I'm doing pretty damn good, I think. You're asking, should I do a poke run? Hell yes, go do one. You might enjoy it. If you're worried about, you know, being intimidated by the fact that, you know, you're not much of a rider or whatever, you know what? Don't worry about that crap. Don't worry about what brand, just, just go out there support it throw some cash down it's probably going for a good cause you get to meet a lot of different people you get to see plenty of bikes you get to see a lot of people that love motorcycling just as much as you do so it's definitely worth doing i think if you're trying to figure out where they're at or when they're going on here's a tip just go to facebook you're probably going to figure it out if you're not a facebook person then go to your local dealership Honestly, the best way to find out your inside track on poker runs is go to the Harley dealership. Here's the deal. Dealerships like them because it gets people in their dealership. I mean, think about it. Motorcycle poker run. Well, of course, if you're a dealer, you're going to want them there because, well, they get there, they purchase, they get their cards, get the draw done. And they think, hey, you know what? I need some gloves or I need a shirt or something like that. So definitely check out the dealerships. It wouldn't be a trip to Wyoming without a windstorm. By the way, there's Devil's Tower. I busted out on one of my three. I got an ace, and then an ace. And then a 10. And it's like, crap. <laughs> oh yeah, the two aces were first, so. <laughs> and then that 10 screwed me on the aces. <laughs> so I could take one of them as an 11. So, yeah. <laughs> I was stuck at 12 and then I drew a 10. That happens. All right, we are too white to boy. To bullwhackers. Get my second to last card and then we'll head to the knuckle. Okay, let's do this. We still got skin in the game, man. We pulled a 20, an 18, and a 19. Or no, excuse me, two 20s and a 19, so my numbers are still looking pretty good. We're to Sturgis, our last stop coming up here on the knuckle. Great place to check out in town. You should definitely take a look at it. They're one of the local businesses in town. That means they're open all year round. I think they're closed like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Otherwise, they're open pretty much all year. They're a locally owned business. They also have the Nuffle Brewing Company on the side, so definitely check it out, especially if you're in town. Also, like I've said before, they do have the best steak tips. The Loud American does not. I don't care what the Loud American says. They need to taste their own steak tips because they don't. They used to be really good. Not anymore.
We didn't win, but that's okay. It's a good day for a ride. Good time. Got a little car wash here on the bike when we were in there waiting. Actually, it was one heck of a downpour, to tell you the truth. In summary, yes, you should do a poker run or something like that. Pretty fun. Good way to go out. Ride around a little bit, have someone else pull off the route, route for once. And plus, you lot, meet a lot of people from the area where you ride. Get to know them. Because in the end, those are your, those are the ones that are going to stand beside you when you got to deal with crap from everybody else. So, I sure believe that all riders should stand together. Because we all do the same risks when we're riding. We all deal with the same stuff when we're riding. We all love riding. Yeah, definitely go check something out, check them out, get to know people. Never know, maybe we'll find something cool to ride with. Maybe you'll find a group you want to ride with, something like that. You never know. But anyways, this is Clutch from the Sodak Motorcycle Club. Wishing you a good day. Remind you to keep the rubber side down and enjoy the ride.